folks, this is your girl Reese with Fray and Slay. I wanted to come to you today to do a product review on these snazzy uh, face shield shades. Um, they are so freaking dope. Um, my husband and I just recently went on a trip and we wanted to find something to protect us while we're in the airport, just add a protection and came across these and was like, they're they just way too cool not to get. So the shades come in a box. You have to put the arms on, both arms, and you have to put the nose piece in. The nose piece just slides right in, kind of like so. See, it's in there. And then you put them on. So we're chilling. We're looking good, feeling good about our trip. Headed to the airport, doing our thing. Um, and as we've had them on for about an hour or so, um, I, for me, my nose began to itch and I realized what was happening is that the shades were kind of falling down like this, kind of pushing my nostrils together, causing my nose to itch. So that was one of the down parts of it. And so what I would have to do to make sure I didn't have any issues is I would grab it by the nose part here and pull it up. So they were very snazzy. We were enjoying them, but then when we got to the counter to show our face to verify ID, this was happening. Voila, ha 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 ha, the magic. This thing was just coming off and apart and it was just so annoying and frustrating. Um, in addition to that, the other issue that we had was that in the airport, because we bought it for that purpose, they want you to have a full face covering, nose and mouth. So if you see here, your mouth here, all this is exposed. So you have to wear your mask under the shield. Um, and for me, I'm a person who the mask, I have a hard time breathing with the mask on, layered with this. I was getting very, very um, claustrophobic, to be fairly honest. Um, I was having a hard time breathing with them both on. And so that kind of got to be a little um, uncomfortable. Um, in addition, we had a long period of time in the airport because we had some delays, cancellations, different things going on in the airport that caused our visit in the airport to be very long. So um, I began, I got very hot with it. Um, the one perk to this though, however, is that if you don't want to take your um, face mask off and you're trying to drink something, it was very convenient to have a straw and a drink and just stick it in through here to drink out of, which is what I did. I just pulled my mask down, suck my straw in, drunk it out, and I kind of felt safe with that. But the biggest downside is for long periods of time and having to move it, this. This was always the issue we ran into, um, or it would just fall or um, whatever. So this thing got to be very annoying and frustrating. So overall, it's a very cool shield. Um, it's very fashionable in my opinion. I think it looks good, feel good, ready to go on vacation, go hit the beach. However, it's very annoying because no one wants to walk around with their nose being pinched all day when they try to take the mask off. So if you're looking for something cool and cute for a short amount of time, this is your thing. But if you're moving around, having to take it off, for whatever reason in the airport to show your face um, or just for a second to get some air, it's annoying and it's very frustrating. Um, so I think it is poorly, poorly made. I think what we agreed to do is if we use them again, we would put super glue in them to keep it from falling off. Um, but otherwise, they're pretty dope shields. Um, I got mine from Etsy, but I know quite a few people are selling them. Um, and these were $14 a pop. So here you go face shield and you actually and just you can't wear them without the nose piece or this will happen because I didn't realize at one point my nose thing came out and I put it on and I just look all kinds of crazy um but again shade face shields this your girl Reese reporting live